1450 FM 99.3 KNSI. Dr. Kim Scott is kind enough to join us. Dr. Scott, thanks for being here today. We're talking about opportunities for free knee pain community seminar that is going to be happening here in St. Cloud on March 19th. Where and uh, and what time should we be there for this one, Dr. Scott? Well, thanks uh, first for having me. Uh, this particular seminar is happening at our office, um, which is St. Cloud Orthopedics on Connecticut Avenue in Sartell, north of the Perkins there. Sure. And uh, we're starting at 6, 6 p.m. All right. And, and I have to I have to tell folks, she and I were talking, Kim and I were talking off the air, and um, this uh, knee pain seminar is for arthritis. You were talking about some other things that uh, that may cause people to actually blow a knee or what have you, like sports injuries. But the one that you mentioned, the dance floor problems at wedding dances, I wonder if you and I don't know the same guy who blew out a knee trying to win some competition. <laughs> well, if you think it's only one guy, then we got to talk some more. Oh, no. It, it's pretty universal, actually. <laughs> That, that's hilarious. <laughs> I hadn't heard about that. I just figured it was this friend of mine. Okay, so a free knee pain seminar. What do we need to know about arthritis and how it affects a knee joint? Well, arthritis is very, very common and actually impacting more and more and more Americans based on demographics. As our uh, population ages and the baby boomers continue to become this sort of burgeoning part of our population, but also demand activity um, arthritis slows you down and it causes pain, causes swelling, causes inability to do things like stairs easily or get, even getting up from a chair. So ultimately what we're trying to do is provide that better quality of life for folks. And what we're going to talk about at the seminar is a technology that we're using to improve our outcomes with joint replacement. All righty. I, I'm just thinking of things like, you know, a torn meniscus or or a bump or, uh, you know, fall on the ice or something like that if we actually have an impact injury. But is that what we're talking about here? Can that all um, exacerbate arthritis problems? Certainly can and or it can cause those sorts of things in the future. So if you have an injury to a meniscus, uh, with or without a surgery to remove it, it loses the ability of that meniscus to cushion the joint. And so those are folks that will typically progress to arthritis faster than they otherwise might have. Also, a bump or an injury like a dashboard injury to a kneecap or a fall on the ice can cause injury to the joint surface cartilage. And those are also things that can lead to arthritis in the future. But some people have a fair amount of arthritis and they're very well compensated. And then they have some relatively minor event and all of a sudden, we just can't get them back over the hump to that well-functioning sure. knee. Dr. Scott, are we all going to get arthritis? Is it just a matter of time? The answer to that is no. Um, but with a qualifier, very, very um, high percentage of folks will see some amount of arthritis. There are a lot of factors that impact that, not the least of which is um, weight and conditioning and strength. Um, we fight gravity every day, and the better we do that, the less force goes through our joint, the less um, damage that joint sees. But there's also a genetic component to this, both in terms of how the mechanics of the joint work and load smaller areas of the joint, or just in terms of the health of that joint surface cartilage and how quickly that dies off. It has a, it has a lifespan. We are born with as many cells there as we're going to have, and eventually it does wear out and die. For some very, very fortunate few, they're going to live their life, and that's why you see the 80-year-olds that right. are occasionally in a marathon who can still do that. Yeah, it's pretty, it's it, I was just going to say, it's pretty amazing and, and how varied, uh, just like you said, one person or that person, uh, you, you never really know. So an aging process, an aging population, a free knee pain seminar. What's also pretty cool is that refreshments and appetizers are going to be provided Thursday the 19th from 6 until 7 p.m. at St. Cloud Orthopedics. Dr. Scott, would you like folks to maybe RSVP? That way you would know about the refreshments and the apps. Uh, if it, Ideally, yes, but if you forget, come on in. We'll have a little extra. It just helps us set up our space sure. so we know how many people to accommodate and that so that people can hear well and see well. But again, if you, if you forgot or all of a sudden you say you see this or hear this, Come on in. We're happy to have you. All right. Very good. Dr. Kim Scott, our guest, a free knee pain community seminar 
happening Thursday the 19th from 6 until 7.30 at St. Cloud Orthopedics. They're right behind Perkins over on Connecticut Avenue in Sartell. Dr. Scott, great to chat with you again. Best of luck on this seminar. Thanks, and thanks for having me. AM 1450, FM 99.3, KNSI. KNSI.